Getting started in ZBrush can seem like a daunting task. Here are some tips to get you started sculpting with ZBrush. Firstly, pen pressure from a drawing tablet will allow for more control over a sculpt than a mouse and keyboard alone. I highly recommend using some kind of drawing tablet for sculpting in ZBrush. That being said, let's jump in. Open ZBrush and navigate to the Lightbox browser. Sort through and double click on any Dynamesh Sphere project to begin sculpting. I typically like to use either a 32 or 64 resolution sphere to sculpt off of. I find the default XYZ rotation a little counterproductive. This can be changed by selecting one of three rotation buttons here. I prefer Y. Drag right clicking over your object will rotate the camera around the sculpt. Adding the shift key will snap the rotation to the six orthographic views. To pan the camera, hold alt key then right click drag over your sculpt. And lastly, to zoom in and out, hold the control key, then drag right click either up and down, or left and right. Expanding the brush palette by pressing B will allow for the selection of a different brush. Nearly every brush is used just like you would use it in any other art program. Drag left clicking on the sculpt or drawing on the object with a tablet and pen will affect the sculpt using the currently chosen brush. As you can see, there is a lot to select from. Here are a few of the most useful default brushes in ZBrush. The Move tool, selected by pressing the key sequence BMV, will allow for the grabbing and pulling of the sculpt's geometry. This tool is very useful for getting the general shape of your sculpt down, as well as honing in the position of some of the sculpt's fine details, such as the height, width, or length of a nose. Pressing the Alt key and dragging left and right will move the selection of geometry that the brush has grabbed along an angle based upon the location of the center of the selection. Pressing S and drag clicking left and right will allow for the adjustment of every brush's size. The damn standard brush, BDS, is an excellent carving and drawing brush. Dam standard can carve in fine details and while holding the Alt key can create hard raised surfaces. Together, these modes work well for any workflow, but are especially useful for creating stylized shapes and forms. The Clay Buildup Brush, BCB, is an excellent tool for blocking in muscles, scales, or any kind of large to medium sized details. Alt clicking will dig in. An excellent use for this is to create gaunt features on a face. Shift clicking will bring up your shift tool. By default, this is the smooth tool. I wouldn't recommend changing this to any other tool other than perhaps a more powerful smooth tool like the Smooth Stronger tool. The Smooth Stronger tool is located in the light box under Brushes, Smooth, Smooth Stronger. If you're interested in the software or want to learn more, click the link in the description below. I'm James Simon with Trinity Animation. Happy sculpting!